Okay, so we are in the Supreme demo, and I'm going to show you how to create a new estimate. I get this question all the time. Um, it's very simple to do. All you do is press New Estimate, and you select the type of job it is. Is it a local or long distance, international or auto transport? And of course, if you have this option here, the departments, you would select the appropriate department for this lead. So we'll go ahead and select Department B. This is, a, again, a, just a demo, and we'll make a local or long distance uh, lead. Now, the system, based on the information you've set up already in maintenance for your uh, pricing, it will determine if it is a local or a long distance job. So we'll just do a Jane Doe. Anything that is, any field that is in yellow, has the asterisk next to it, is a required field to pass to the next uh, page. And um, you can always go back and edit it at any time. So for now, I'm not going to fill out the address or any of that information. I'll just go to a zip code. We'll just say we're moving from Florida. And we'll give an email. <clears throat> and then here we go. We'll just do another Florida zip code. And we'll just say, AMSA, how did you hear about us? It's very important that you list that. And you have, uh, you can select, is it a residential, commercial, or military move? We'll just focus on residential. And select when the customer is moving. And how many rooms. Okay, very simple. Now you have some options. This is very quick for you to do um, when you're on the phone with a customer. You can continue to inventory and um, select all the items that they've got. Or you can just email your customer a list, um, well actually uh, their job number, and they can click on it and, and enter their own inventory. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Much easier. So we'll continue to charges, and we're going to see how the software just sort of calculates everything for us. So we've got our moving from and our moving to section, and of course the customer received a job number up here, and the status is a follow-up. It is not yet booked. You would book it by clicking this book this job button. Now everything is editable, so this the software based on the criteria that we have uh, suggests you know one van or one truck, uh, four men at about 11 hours, $95 an hour, one hour travel time. So it, it recognizes that it's a local charge. Um, this is something you can again you can type in. Maybe you have a minimum. Maybe it's just four hours, and maybe you, your rate is $115 an hour. And maybe you don't want to travel any tra uh, charge any travel time, so you put zero. Everything you do, you must press submit to save your changes, and you'll see that it has now recalculated a new charge. If you have a fuel and mileage charge, you would put that there. Any others that might apply, any other charges, any discounts, senior citizen discount, anything at all. Um, packing materials as well, you can click that link, and a new window would pop up. And then you could select whatever packing materials you want. And of course, you would press submit at the bottom. Now these are packing materials that are set up in maintenance. So you would have your own list, of course, and your own pricing sheet. Um, you can also set up a packing day for your, for your customer, any discounts, etc. Um, up here on the right hand side, it has the information. So by default, because of what we have uh, calculated um, or set up, sorry, under setup prices and maintenance. It is calculating by cubic feet, so we can change the amount if you needed to, if the amount has changed, or she gives, uh, the customer gives you inventory. Um, you can also decide, hey, to calculate by pounds, and then you switch it. And now this job is calculating by pounds. Okay, um, you can select a binding type. You can create a follow-up date. This follow-up date is for your records so that you can always know um, when you log in in the morning who you're supposed to call the next day. By clicking that link, you'll see the different priorities. You've got first priority, second priority, etc. And we can just go ahead and put this person as first priority. Submit. And um, you can select box delivery day, pack day. You really just kind of have to look at it for a minute, play around with the demos, um, pick up date everything it's it's all right there it shows who the users are what department we are which you can also edit as an administrator and um, everything that you need now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scroll up to the top the entry form is where we entered all the customers information the inventory is where you can go back and update their inventory online 
the printed estimate is so that you can um, print and uh, fax over or present to the customer for them to sign the contract. And um, here I'll go ahead and click on it. I'm going to show you what the printed estimate looks like. Right now there is no logo at the top because we're in the demo, but your image would actually go up here. And it has brought all the information. This is our basic template. Uh, all your company information goes here. Your DOT would go there. Moving from, moving to, the relocation details, so with the pricing. Your company policy would go here. Any inventory items would be listed here. Packing materials would be listed there. And customer would sign. Very simple to do. Now, um, of course, um, you have payments. You have so many different things. But this is just like the basic. Um, well, we are in actually the Supreme uh, Charges screen. Um, so each module has a slightly different. This this module shows you all the different options. Um, now, the other thing that you can do is email your customer a quote by clicking on their email address. And here are the preset templates that you have created already in maintenance under the Update Email Center. So for example, follow up on your inventory list. Maybe you created um, an email already. You would just select it. The link is the job number that the customer can click on. And I'll just press on the option just to show you your logo. These are the preset templates. The date. Let me just move this over here just a little bit. You have the customer's name, the the email that you tried or the email that you have uh, written up in the templates and maintenance. Here is the job number link where they would click on it, and um, your company information at the bottom. And they can always remove themselves from the email so they don't get bombarded. <laughs> now, um, and here of course you also have moving estimate. That is the printed estimate that we had just clicked on a few minutes ago. You can add an electronic signature where the customer can sign online and you would receive a confirmation of that and all you do is click send email and it shows your moving estimate was sent successfully you close the window I'll refresh the page and then you'll see here it shows one email sent click on it again and it shows it down here under previous emails if the customer clicks on their electronic signature and signs it you will see a sign IP there and then you can click on this link here and it will show you the details of the signature and you would print that for your records so we'll close that window this is just um, again the basic uh, just just a simple tutorial of how to create a new estimate in the system each job is different of course um, we can go ahead and book this job and um, one more thing I will show you is down here there's a few as a few options we've got a general log uh, for administrators only. Some supervisors have this access and um, and you can really see what actions have taken place, how many submits, when was the email sent. Um, you have just uh, a lot of control and a lot of security. So I hope this helped and I will uh, definitely do a few more tutorials um, as you need them.